Hi everyone, welcome to our PT Plus online lessons. The main topic for this lesson is retail lecture. In particular, we're going to be focusing on question type introduction as well as some key information about retail lecture. So let's first of all have a look at where retail lecture is in the test. As I'm sure you're aware, retail lecture is part of the speaking and writing section of the test. It goes right after describe image and it goes right before answer short question. So retail lecture is towards the end of the speaking section of the test. Let's have a look at score distribution. In terms of scores, we can see that retail lecture is worth 15 marks, making it just as much as anything else in the whole test. But the reason why retail lecture is perhaps less important than other tests is because there are only three to four questions, giving it a total of between 45 to 60 marks giving it a total of 14% of the whole speaking test. Let's have a look at cross-module contributions. We can see here that retail lecture questions contribute approximately 10% to your listening score as well. So, in total, give it an importance of two stars, which means that it is important for us to practice, but perhaps the importance isn't as high as some of the other sections, such as repeat sentence and read aloud, which contribute 20 and 30% to reading and listening respectively, making it very important. Let's now have a look at the official question type introduction from the PTE website. Retell lecture. For this item type, you will hear an audio play. In an article that you wrote that I just read, you said you wished you could take everyone's... When the audio finishes, you have 10 seconds to prepare. After a short tone, the microphone opens. The author of this article is explaining how... You need to summarize what you heard. Now, let's have a look at what the screen looks like when you're in the test. So, to help us prepare, let's analyze and break down the screen. We can see here at the top, we've got the instructions. You'll hear an interview. After listening to the interview, in 10 seconds, please speak into the microphone and retell what you've just heard from the lecture in your own words. You have 40 seconds to give your response. So we can see here that we've got 10 seconds to prepare after listening to it. This 10 seconds will be quite important to us and we'll be talking about its importance in the later videos. We can see here how many questions we've got. Typically, you'll get between three to four questions. So this means this is the first question out of three questions. Here we've got uh, your time left. And here we've got the audio player. So typically, audios can be between a minute to 90 seconds. So in this particular one, there's 65 seconds, a minute and five seconds. And it'll tell you how much is left. And some of it may have pictures to help give you an idea of what the content includes. But the key point is always in um, the recording and not in the picture. So keep that in mind. So once we've um, finished listening to the answer, you can see that this changes to this. Uh, it'll give us a beep sound. The beep sound means it's starting to record. And once it starts to record, we'll have 40 seconds for our answer. And remember, just like every other part of the speaking test, it's important that we speak within the first three seconds of the uh, recording starting. Because if we don't, then the machine will think that we aren't giving an answer and it'll skip to the next question. So make sure to always speak within three seconds of the recording starting. Let's have a quick look at the scoring criteria. You can see here in the scoring criteria that um, information, uh, content score, goes for five. We've got five for pronunciation and five for fluency, just like the other subtests and the other parts. Key information has its own requirements. Pronunciation requirements are the same too. We need to focus on clarity and stress, and we should aim for five or four for native lack or advanced pronunciation. And in terms of fluency, we can see here similar requirements as well. We want it to be smooth with no hesitations. So let's have a look at the official academic PTE tips that they've given us. Here it says, make good use of the image to predict the topic of the lecture. You have three seconds before you listen to the recording to quickly have a look at the image on the screen. Use this time to think about the vocabulary you might hear. This will give you an idea of the topic of the lecture and help you predict what you're hearing when the recording begins. So, for example, here we've got a rocket launching. 
So some vocabulary we might hear might be to do with um, space, rocket, launch, sky, jet, and then the topic here is uh, space travel and exploration. So sometimes looking at the picture can give us an idea of what's coming, but don't always rely on that. The second tip is you only have 40 seconds to speak and make sure you include all the main points of the lecture. If you repeat ideas or correct yourself or hesitate, you'll use up valuable time and lose score points. So keep talking and ignore any mistakes that you make. And this is a pretty important point as well that goes for both content and fluency and we'll be looking at it even more. But never stop. Always remember, it's about your best performance that you're showing. So that's it for this lesson. See you again next time on PTE Plus.